Hello, my lovelies. It's pick a pile time. We're going to pick our piles based on these crystals. We have blue goldstone. Love this one. Looks like a galaxy. And we have some black tourmaline. Pile one. Pile two. All right. Pile one. This is your reading. Pile two will be the next video. We're going to start with conversations with our inner self. Let's see what triggers we might be facing this week. What do we need to know for our shadow work? Inferior. In what areas of life do you feel below or inferior to others? Self-esteem. What is the relationship between your shadow self and your self-esteem? Failed relationships. What is a common thread in your failed relationships? I love these cards. They give you some food for thought. How do we integrate or find the balance this week? What do we need to know? Joy. Think of a time when you felt a spark of joy and inspiration. Where were you and what were you doing? Boundaries. How can you use your shadow self to strengthen your boundaries? On your deathbed. Imagine you are on your deathbed and while laying in bed, your parents walk in. What are the last things that you say to them? Let's get one more of these. Embodiment. How can understanding your full self empower you? All right, let's get into our shadow work. Let's see what we have from our shadow self. What is hidden from us that needs to come to the surface this week? What do we need to know? Ugh, there's been lots of disappointments when it comes to love, and I feel like you're kind of over that. So this is an important opportunity for you to start with self-love and self-care and to give yourself the things that you wish you had received from somebody else. So start pouring into your own cup. I do think that you've been dealing with a lot of people who are players, people who are non-committal. They're people who are here one minute, gone the next, lots of like string alongs and one night stands. And so you might be getting an offer from somebody who isn't really in it for the long haul. So you need to decide if that's what you wish or if it's not and break the cycle. I feel like you're dealing with somebody who's kind of a tyrant, somebody who's a little bit cold and abrasive. And I feel like you really desire to break free from this. There might be a lot of overthinking, sleepless nights, and worry. So I feel like you're finally trying to make a decision where you go away from that conflict and chaos and you go towards your peace. I also feel like this person um, or you is potentially manifesting this connection, but I feel like they're gathering attention from all the wrong places. How do they find the balance this week? What's hidden that they need to find the balance? How do we find the balance this week? All right, you need some time to rest, recover, and recharge. You're depleted. So again, self-love and self-care comes to mind. There's the Knight of Cups. I feel like a better offer is coming in, although you may reject it just because you've been through the ringer when it comes to love, but this one is actually genuine. I feel like you need to do some shadow work. You need to do some soul searching, kind of figure out what it is that you want, what you're looking for. And I feel like if marriage and commitment is what you're looking for, the Knight of Cups is your guy. There's somebody who wants the same things you do. They want traditional marriage and commitment. They want to go the distance. They want to pour into your cup. They want want to be that person that's there for you. The question is, are you going to accept the offer or will you reject it? Let's get one final card. Judgment being out here tells us that some sort of divine intervention is coming to actually put things in perspective or to put things in alignment. Remember that judgment sees everything. So karma is being dealt. We also have Saturn in retrograde. So that is the planet of karma. Not all of it's bad, some of it's good. You might have been through the ringer and dealt with a lot of pain and heartbreak. And so karma is coming to bestow upon you somebody who's actually worth your time.